I always feel like my hair looks really dumb like this, so I shouldn't do this for videos, but I was at work, so I don't care, I guess. This is going to be a... just kidding. Just kidding! I didn't do my normal greeting. Hi viewers! This is going to be a video response to SLC Witch Boy, Austin. Um, he was talking about his coming out of the broom closet story, and he just told some, like, crazy stories of stuff that happened. And so, um, I have my Finding Wicca video, which is kind of, like, um, why I became Wiccan. I didn't really do, like, a coming out of the broom closet story video, because I don't really remember what happened. Like, like, um... The biggest reaction was from my mom, and that was just that, like, she was scared because she didn't know about it, and she basically, at that point, said that I could do whatever I want, but she didn't want me to call myself a witch, or a Wiccan, um, because she knew that other people would automatically think that meant I was worshipping Satan, which is, don't get me started on that. Anyone else that I told, like, my friends, they just, they just didn't care at all. So I don't really have a story on that. But I do have, sorry, I keep looking at the computer, it's over there. Um, I do have a really crazy, stupid, like, school-related story. There's a place called Squire's Castle, and it's like, it's considered like a park. Um, and it's not an actual castle because the only building there right now is the, what was like, the caretaker's cottage, okay? And the Squire family, they were building um, the castle. They had another home, like, in the city, but they were building the castle in the country uh, so they would have another home. But all that was done was the caretaker's cottage. So they were staying in the caretaker's cottage while, you know, the, the building was being built. And uh, Squire's wife did not... I got, all, I got this story from the people who work at the park, and they told me. Um, and it's also... Some of it is written on, like, a like a plaque thing at the entrance to the place. God, it's really hot up here. Sorry, I'm up on my bed. Heat rises. Um, yeah, so, so Squire's wife didn't like the country at all. She was just like, get me the heck out of here. So I guess uh, the story goes, one night she was sleeping in the caretaker's cottage and she heard something or she just couldn't sleep something like that. So she got up in the middle of the night and went walking um, through the building. She tripped over something and broke her neck and died. Allegedly it's haunted. So I had been to this place a couple times in elementary school. Fifth, sixth grade-ish, um, my class, like the whole grade, went on a field trip. Uh, Squire's Castle was on the way, so we decided to stop there for our lunch break, and I was like, yeah, awesome, you know, because I've been there, and I'm, I'm really into the haunted stuff, so I was like, yes, and so, like, uh, so I started telling my friends, like, about it, and I was like, um, yeah, you know, it's supposedly haunted, and, like, this is what happened, I, I've been there before, and it's so cool, and stuff like that, so some of my friends, uh, some of my girlfriends, they were like, hey, well, we should go around and see if we can find anything creepy, or, like, any clues, or whatever, so, you know, the building, they took down the upper floors, they took down the stairs, they bricked up a bunch of doors, so it's it's just a stone shell, pretty much. There's no ceiling, so you're allowed to walk through what's there. They've already removed anything they didn't want you to mess with. So we go walking around, you know, we're doing our thing. Anyways, it would have been like 11, 12 at this point. Um, we're all out on the playground, and I had this necklace that had two crystals on it, and I used to use it for a pendulum. And so we wanted to, like, talk about, you know, the weird stuff that happened at Squire's Castle and whatever. So we were just having fun. We were sitting around, and, uh, you know, some of the girls were, like, asking my pendulum questions, like, was it really a ghost? And whatever. We're just being cool. And there was this other girl. I think her name was Amanda. And, like, we didn't like her, really, but we always tolerated her. So she was fine, but she had just really been on our case about the whole Squire's Castle thing. So 
like she came up to us on the playground and started saying stuff like we were crazy and we didn't know what we were talking about and nothing really happened because she didn't see anything she didn't get it so she was mad at us um and uh so we were like well then just just don't hang out with us like it's not a problem you know whatever if you're if you're just going to tell us that it's not real then just let us talk about it and go away and so apparently she went and told the proctor like the playground proctor that we were witches and that we were casting a spell on her and at that point i wasn't even like telling anyone that i was studying wicca if i even was because i haven't okay let me count yeah i was like 11 or 12 um at that point i wasn't even like really studying wicca so i was like heck no i'm not a witch and definitely none of the other girls were so we were just like what but yeah so this proctor comes over and by that point we had already stopped and we weren't even sitting in the same place anymore we were all gone our separate ways because recess was going to be over in like 15 minutes so we wanted to play so the proctor who's like a personal friend of mine like i know her because um everyone in the town knows everyone anyway she comes up to me because she knows if i was named something serious because i was a goody two-shoes not gonna lie um so she comes up to me and she's like she gets all over my face and she's like where's the witch game and i'm like kathy what are you talking about and she's like the witch game i was told that you're playing a game and that you're witches and it's a witch game and it's not allowed in school rah 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 and at this point it's back on my neck okay it's a necklace it's back on my neck so it doesn't look like anything she probably doesn't even know what a pendulum is like wh so i'm just like i don't know what you're talking about and she's like amanda said blah 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 and i was like we were just sitting around talking and amanda got mad at us that's all I know. I was not about to be like, yeah, we were playing with a pendulum, because what if someone did come up to us and, like, say that it wasn't allowed or something? Like, I didn't know. So I was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. And she never noticed it. It's around my neck. She was never like, oh, crystals. Woo. And actually, I have them right here. I don't know if this is the same chain, but this is one of the crystals. I have to see if you can see it. This, um, when I got a hair wrap put in my hair years before that uh, I had this put in at the end of it and it's a quartz crystal it's wrapped in silver wire and uh, so after it fell out of my hair wrap I put it on a chain this might be the same chain but now it's got another stone on it and then the other stone uh, the little thing like came off of it so it's not on the chain anymore but it's this and it sits on my altar all the time it's a little clear quartz point single terminated and yeah this little the little the holder piece comes off of it basically those two crystals right here on a necklace were my pendulum and then I would take the little uh, you know the clasp part can you see that yeah that I would attach that to this so that when I held it at the other end um, by this crystal, this was the handle, when I held it, oh yeah, it would basically be like that with the other stone. Huh? Yeah, only it was this. But yeah, so that is like the stupidest school-related, like, I almost got in trouble for doing anything at all witchy story that I have. So yeah, I just think it's hilarious and really retarded. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm done now.